China's borders are open. Are you curious about the best travel spots in China? After exploring everywhere from bustling metropolises and the Avatar Mountains to serene ice scapes, I've narrowed it down to my top five places that I have visited in China. Stay tuned to dive into these remarkable destinations. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Harvey and I make videos about traveling around China. If you are as curious as I am about the best travel spots in China, well, you are in for a treat today. After years of exploring this beautiful country, I have finally narrowed it down to my top five favorite places that I have visited so far. So let's take a look at these destinations. Now, number five on my list is Jiangjiajie located in the heart of China's Hunan province. This place is known for its majestic avatar mountains, and it literally left me awestruck. Imagine walking amidst the towering sandstone pillars, which look like they were lifted straight from the famous movie. That is exactly how it felt like. I was extremely lucky when I visited Zhangjiajie because there were literally zero people in the whole park. Okay, maybe there were a few, but not actually that many, which made it very quiet, very serene, and very peaceful, which made the trip probably about 10 times better. There is so much to do at Zhang Jiajie as well, because it's split into tens of different hiking paths and attractions. So many, in fact, that I was there for four whole days and only managed to get less than half of the attractions done. The trip was literally incredible. However, I have two standout moments from my time there. Number two was on the first day in a place called Wuling Yuan. We took the less popular route and even though it was raining, the surroundings were fantastic. So beautiful. Number one was the cable car ride down the mountain on my final day. I have truly never seen anything like it. Tell me you've ever seen anything as beautiful as this before in your life. And it's absolutely silent as well. Listen to that. If you want to go watch my Jiang Jiajie videos, I highly recommend you do. Number four is also a recent trip made in the last couple of months actually, and that is Chongqing. Now, Chongqing has become super, super famous throughout the world thanks to the numerous videos floating about on TikTok and other social media platforms. Chongqing is vibrant and it's a bustling metropolis. And it's actually the biggest city in the world, which I didn't even know about until I arrived there. The city's energy is infectious, probably due to having 32 million people. And there's so much to explore. The skyline is adorned with futuristic skyscrapers. But the real beauty of the city, in my opinion, lies in the design. Now, it's carved into the side of a mountain, so sometimes you feel like you're on the ground floor, you go outside and look around, and you're actually halfway up the mountain. There are loads of great spots in Chongqing. My favourites were the Huge Bridge and Hongyang Cave. But if you're going to visit this amazing city, do not visit on a national holiday like we did, otherwise it will be super, super busy, and the crowds will be nothing like you have ever seen before in your life, and it might put you off. So go on a quiet day. Number three, taking a break from the hustle and bustle, head over to Wuxi. Now, this city is a tranquil oasis, famous for its stunning gardens and canals. It's a relatively smaller city than previous locations I've mentioned, but nonetheless still worth a visit. The majestic Lingshan Grand Buddha, standing tall at a staggering 88 meters, which is almost three times taller than the Brazil's Christ the Redeemer statue, is the number one spot to visit in Wuxi, in my personal opinion. Other than that, Wuxi's charm lies in its calm and picturesque gardens. Go and visit this spot, you will not be disappointed. 
Okay, number two on my top five favorite travel spots in China so far is Shenzhen and what a city Shenzhen is. From being a small fishing village to now being the most modern city in the world, Shenzhen is a hub of technology and innovation and is the standout example of modern China and the direction that this country is heading. This rapidly growing metropolis is a symbol of China's economic development. From futuristic skyscrapers to high-tech parks to even beautiful beaches and ancient alleyways, Shenzhen really has it all and it also has a very vibrant nightlife. Now Shenzhen is a favourite spot of mine due to being one of the first cities in China that I travelled alone and I also made one of my favourite videos there just over a year ago now. So if you're new to the channel and haven't watched it yet, I recommend you go and do so. Finally, my favourite travel spot so far in China. It's a spot I actually haven't posted the video for just yet, but it is coming very, very soon. So make sure you hit subscribe to watch it because this place is absolutely phenomenal. Number one is Inner Mongolia. Now, this is a place where the landscape literally took my breath away. The vast grasslands seem to stretch endlessly into the distance. The traditional Mongolian yurts offer a unique and immersive experience and is like stepping back into ancient China. I was in Inner Mongolia for five days and I visited some of its biggest and best cities including Bayanur, Baitao, Ordos, and the capital, Hohot. And out of those places, I really cannot pick my favorite because they were all so, so incredible. I was lucky enough to not only experience the traditional ancient culture of this incredible province, but also visit some of the places and companies that are modernizing the region too. And the icing on the cake for the kind, warm, welcoming, and hospitable people. If you're thinking about visiting China, Inner Mongolia might not be at the top of your list of places to go and see. However, I promise you, it should be. Do not forget to watch my Inner Mongolia video when I post it, you will not be disappointed. So there you have it, my top five favorite places I have traveled to in China so far. Each destination offers something different and unforgettable. From Zhang Jiajie's Avatar Mountains to the modern charm of Shenzhen and the serenity of Inner Mongolia's grasslands, China truly does have it all. I hope this video inspires you to plan your own adventure in this incredible country. I have listed the videos I have made at these five locations in the description, so go and watch those and if you enjoyed the video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more China content. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.